so you guys want to know what's in my camera bag or maybe you don't but you're here anyway so I'm gonna tell you this is the good life. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a what's in my camera bag 2020 video. I will admit that it always varies. I, I do have a couple things in there that if I just have to have a general bag packed, this is what I carry. But I tend to change it depending on the projects that I'm working on or where I'm adventuring. I don't want to have like a 50 pound bag if I'm hiking like four miles. That doesn't make any sense. So it really depends on the project. But I'm gonna walk you through like a standard bag pack. This pretty much gets me through any situation. Smash that subscribe button and we're gonna get right into this video. This is my backpack. It is tiny. Tiny is great and I love that it was small. Throw it on the back and you're ready to go. However, as most of us filmmakers know, you just continuously get more and more and more and more gear. And so now the problem that I have is my gear doesn't fit in this backpack. So I, I, I can't bring everything that I would want to bring, you know? For instance, if I'm flying somewhere and I just want all my camera gear in one ba bag as like my backpack for a carry-on, I get the ones that are taller and then I could fit like both my cameras, four lenses, all that good stuff. And this one, not so much. All right, so going into it. This is a newer backpack, by the way. It's got uh, red insides. I know, it's pretty sick. First and foremost, we got the EOS R as my main camera. I actually have two of these. One I got when it first came out. The second one I got recently on a super good deal. They were on B&H for like, I think they were 1800 bucks for the body with the adapter or something. They were running for 1800 normally. They had them on sale for 1500 and then Jason had a coupon for $200 off Canon. So I got it for $1,300. How could I like, come on. So now I have a, a two camera setup so I can get the exact same look whenever I'm shooting something that needs two cams. So EOS R, love this camera. I've had some ups and downs with it, but overall, love it. I just got the RF 24 to 105 lens. I don't remember why I bought it. Oh, I bought it for the IS. I bought it for the stabilization. I do a lot of handheld stuff, especially when I'm doing like little series and stuff. So I figured since the EOS R doesn't have uh, the in-body stabilization, I'll get the lens with it because I was running a Canon 1635 and a 2470, both of which don't have IS. So it was a little rough to get like full on stable footage. Figured I would try this out. Just haven't really used it out in the field because of the whole COVID thing. But so far, I love it. Then I carry around a lav mic, GR10L. Carry around just one of these. You never know when you're gonna have to lav somebody up. Always good to have. This gets great audio, like best, well, I don't know what it was, 200 bucks that I've spent really good comes in this cool little bag package love that you got the good old rocket clean off all that dust off your lens then I got the nifty 50 150 dollars lens I think I paid for this this thing shoots incredible if ever are in doubt about anything throw this puppy on this thing shoots so good and yeah it's just a you gotta have it prime lenses are nice and sharp tack sharp they're great I got a bunch of a bunch of lens wipes in here, like 20 of them. I have a whole other pack of 100, but I just always keep some stacked up in here. Got like five of these cloths in here. I don't know, for some reason, some of them work, some of them don't, so I just keep them all in here so I can keep figuring out like which ones. <laughs> There's actually more than I thought. All right, put those back. We have these Tiffin filters. They're the Black Pro Mist. I have the 1 8 and the 1 4 strength. I've only actually used these once so far. Again, they're kind of, I got them kind of new and then everything happened. So I haven't been really getting, I haven't been doing a lot of outside gigs. Basically, they kind of soften up your face, make you look nice, silky smooth. I don't always have to carry these, but if I'm on a one camera setup and I have the space, why not throw them in here, you know? I always carry a charger. Always, always, always carry a charger. Even though I have <laughs> another one. I have two, I usually carry like four batteries, usually fully charged. 
but even with the batteries fully charged, I always carry a charger. You never know what situation you're gonna get in. I guess if you're like on a hike somewhere, then there's no need for a charger. But if you're somewhere shooting something, I love how dark it just got outside. Like this is perfect. If you're shooting something, I don't know, a wedding, uh, a commercial, something, you never know what happens to your battery. So it doesn't have to help. It doesn't hurt to have a charger. So if you know you're running low, you can start throwing those puppies on the charger and get them charged. You do not want to run out of battery when you're in the middle of a gig. You do not. All right. Then I got a little multi-tool, comes in this cute little case. This thing has all the tools. It's got a Phillips, it's got uh, two Allens. Actually, it's got like four Allens, which these are all good for cages and stuff like that when you're mounting stuff onto your cages. Always good to have a multi-tool. If I'm going somewhere where I will be vlogging, you got the G7X Mark II with a little handheld. Carry this around, make sure you get those quick shots if you don't wanna take out your camera all the time. Maybe you're hiking or something and you don't wanna be holding your camera. You can have this out and just grab some dope shots. Then, got the good old eyeglass cleaner spray. Spray the lens down, wipe it down. Then I have this light, Litra. These lights are really good. I have this one and I have the two cubes that I throw on the drone. Oh, there's lots of four. Anyway, I carried this one because it's bigger, it's more powerful, cool like Spectrum, so it's really good. I don't know. Yeah, it does have, look at that. That's crazy. And you could change to the Kelvin all the way from 3000 to, to 6000. So this thing is super powerful. This is at 100%, but I usually don't run it there because then it will get like hotter and the batteries will run faster. Even like 50% is, ah, it's giving me a shadow. Too bright, oh, my vision, ah. There's a promo code down below for 15% off if you're interested in any of these products. I do love their lights, they're waterproof, they're super dope. So I always carry one of these, you never know when you're gonna need to mount up a light. To complement that light, I always have just a little, little mount because how are you gonna mount the light if you don't have a mount for it? So that's good. I also am running the Rode VideoMic Pro which is actually on this camera right now. I've been thinking about getting like the smaller, more compact one which people have great results with, but so far, that's the one I've been using. If I do know that I'm gonna be running, like I know I'm going somewhere at night and I'm gonna be running the mic and the light, then I have a V-mount mounting bracket that I got off Amazon, I think, so that I can mount both of them to the top of the camera. All right, up in my top zippers here, I have business cards. You always wanna have business cards on you. You never know who you're gonna meet, especially when you're out and about. A bunch more cleaning wipes. Lab covers. These are basically just so you can like mount um, a lab if you can't clip it onto somebody because it's gotta be hidden. You can like stick it to the inside of their shirt. Small little package, great to have always. You never know what you're gonna come across. Then I have, hmm, I haven't gotten in here in a while. I have backup SD cards. Always have backup SD cards. These are both 64 gigs. You do not want to be out shooting something and run out of memory and have nowhere to drop the footage and no way to shoot new footage. Don't let it happen. Have spare memory cards. Or you don't want to be out and one memory card knock on glass corrupts and then even if you format it, you can't fix it and you have no way to shoot something else. What if you're in the most epic spot and you just can't shoot anything? You don't want that to happen, so carry extra memory cards wherever you go. Don't mess it up. In the bottom one, we got my drone license. That's the other thing. If I'm droning, this bag fits my drone perfectly. I could do drone, the camera, and uh, let me see, the drone, the drone, the camera, one, the drone, the camera, and like two lenses I could do. But then I, I, I really don't have, no, I have fit the lav mic actually. I, I wouldn't be able to fit the vlog mic, uh, the vlog, vlog camera. I don't know, I've made some crazy stuff fit in this bag. Like jam packed, the zipper's about to bust kind of stuff. So that's my pilot's license and that's it. Another great thing to have is gaffing tape. When I carry a duffel bag as my camera bag, this 100% goes in there. Great, versatile, it's good to go. Um, in the sides, I got, oh, chapstick. Yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, okay, and on my camera, I always have a camera strap. The reason I keep the strap, it's on that camera, otherwise I would show you right now, but, so the reason I have the strap attached is because if you're not working with like a gimbal or a steady cam or, or something to stabilize, 
you use the you use the neck strap as your stabilizer. So you have it like a little bit shorter, right? I use this all the time if I'm shooting like festivals or tour shows or anything like that. I use my strap. Not only can you just let your arms relax and like let the camera hang safely and it's, you're not having to worry about somebody ripping it off you or whatever, but you use it as your stabilizer. So you put you put the straps a little shorter, right? And then you have it around your neck and when you come out you keep you keep the the strap tight and you're able to you know have that steadier motion to control your shots if you haven't tried that that's a great hack try it it works amazing as far as this little bag that's gonna be that all it's in there again if I'm using the bigger bag I'll have a small little travel tripod on there I could fit my laptop in there I could fit so much stuff but this bag is a bit smaller, so I just work with what I got. That's what's in my camera bag in 2020. I should be getting a bigger bag soon so I can expand, but that's it. If you want to see more of the content that I shoot, not just vlogs, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear why you guys subscribe to my channel. What is it that you enjoy seeing? What do you not enjoy seeing? Be sure to subscribe so you are up to date on all the content that I'm dropping. Vlogs that are coming out, all the travel, everything that's coming up. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later! Thank you.